Hey friends, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. So, by now you must have heard all this fuss about Apple's new OSs for all their devices. They're getting all these flashy features, nice clean setups, loads of customization, especially on their Apple TV devices. So if you're an Android TV user like me, you're probably feeling a bit left out. We're all stuck with the same old Android TV layout that unfortunately we've had to deal with for donkey's years. It's old, it's looking dated, and some might say it's dysfunctional. It's definitely hard to get around. And personally, I hate those ads that they've slid into the home screen. They're just so distracting and unnecessary. But anyway, enough of the moaning. I'm here to shine a bright light on all of your Android TV misery with this brand new spanking Android TV launcher. And on first glance, you have to admit it's clean, it's slick, and it is very customizable. You can create your own folders, categories. You can even change the shape of the tiles, including their outlines by adding breathing effect, shadows, the list goes on. And of course the big one, you can change the background wallpaper, you can set it as your custom launcher, and no extra software is needed to set it as your default launcher. It works even when you press the home button on your remote, and there's no need to purchase a license, it's readily available. So join me in this video as I guide you through the installation, features and setup of this absolutely fantastic Android TV launcher. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and install this Android TV launcher and it's easy to get. We just go to the Google Play Store and type in the name. So I'm just going to open the Google Play Store and find the search bar and type in P R O J E C T and it should be the first one that pops up Project IV Launcher. Now as you can see if we take a quick look around you can see that it gets a 4.5 on the review scale so straight away we know this is a good product and from the app screenshots you can see there's tons of settings to play with. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and press the install button. Now the install process is quick and fuss free as it is a relatively small file. The whole process really only takes a couple of minutes. Now once it's done, just click on the open button and you'll be presented with the following screen. You get a little welcome note, just click on the next button and you're going to get some information about the superpowers of this launcher. Just click on next again. More information about accessibility, click on next again. And there's just a little note here about permissions that are required on your device. And then you'll get the following window pop up and it's allow productivity launcher to read all TV listings available on your device. Click OK. And finally click yes for notifications if you want it. And that's it guys, you've completed the initial setup and we can click on get started. So straight away this is the home screen and you have to agree it's a lot cleaner, sleeker. We haven't got those irritating adverts. We've got a nice little background there, which by the way is customizable and I'll show you how to update that later. The home screen is divided into different categories and we can scroll down to see them all. Currently we've got TV apps, mobile apps, watch next, settings, display. Now of course this view is fully customizable and to do this we need to go into settings. So just click on the cog on the top right hand corner and it'll bring up the side menu. And the first thing we're going to look at is edit categories. So you've got the option to create a category or view the current categories that are listed. Now these are the default categories and you can hide these categories if you want. You can also create a new category which I'm going to do now. First of all input your title and I'm going to call this KS Favorites. Now once we've done that we've got all these options we can play with. We can make it visible, change the apps inside the folder to a grid like structure and further down we can finally delete it. Now if we go back up to the main menu we'll see our KS Favorites folder there and if we click on it you'll see we've got the, basically the same settings we can change. So of course we can hide or unhide it. Let's change the format to grid format in the folder and then we can change the number of cards per row if we like or just leave it at auto. I'm going to leave the show title option on and I'm not touching the rest of these options yet until I add some apps to my new folder and to do that we need to click on manage apps and from here just select the apps you want to appear in the folder and as I do that you can see on the left hand side the folder is being populated. Now once you have your folder filled up you can actually sort the way they're shown. So for convenience I'm going to select alphabetically and of course from here you can also change the size of those tiles. You can choose between small, medium or large. Show the tile title or unshow it. You can define the number of cards shown per row. And you can see on the left the folder changes correspondingly. And of course if you want to hide your folder just click on the visibility button. So let's come on out and take a look at the home screen now. It's definitely more like the way I want it. We've got my favorites folder up top with some large-ish icons which I might make smaller. So if I just pop back into the settings edit categories, select my folder 
and then scroll all the way down to size and then select the one that you're comfortable with. So I'm going to choose extra small and then go all the way up to the cards and I'm going to choose five cards per row and that looks cool to me. Now the customizations don't stop there, we can further customize by going into the settings, appearance, categories and channels and we can show title, show icon in front of the title, change the vertical spacing, hide rows above a selection, we can change the opacity of the unselected rows and we can increase or decrease the top margin. And it doesn't stop there guys, there's further customization. We can change how we see the cards, we can round the corners, change their size and also choose the focus card size and this will determine how much it stands out from the rest of the row. And if we head back to the home screen now, you can see the difference, the tiles are square and I've made them somewhat smaller and the focus tile is a lot larger than the rest of the row which means you can see it a lot easier making navigation among the apps a lot quicker now you can make changes to the home screen on the fly just left click on your remote and you'll get this little menu pop up click on the cog icon and you'll get quick access to settings and from here I've got access to all the settings I showed previously I can change the grid format number of cards per row hide or unhide the title and of course we can also change the size of the tiles sort the tiles according to how you want it now looking back at my folder I think these tiles are a bit too small so I'm going to change the size here quickly and I think that's a lot better. Now I can actually move the location of these category folders. Left click the menu and click on that arrow button and then slide up or down where you want the folder. And you can see there I've just moved it below the TV apps. Now sometimes a folder is not needed and in this case I'm going to remove mobile apps. Again left click on your remote, click on the cog and then scroll down to visibility and simply just toggle off. And there you can see that folder has vanished. Now we can also change the wallpaper on this TV launcher. Just head on over to the settings, scroll down to appearance and you should see the wallpaper setting the third one down. And if you click on the launcher wallpaper, you'll see you've got settings for non, reddit, dynamic colors and default wallpaper. Now the reddit option lets you select pictures from the reddit website and there's different categories. And if we click on configure, you'll see an option for subreddit and if we click on that, you'll see you've got pictures from earth, astrophotography, wallpapers, botanical, sea and sky. Now after you've selected your wallpaper, go back up one menu and you'll see you've got some options, update delay timer in minutes, we can configure the display mode, we can set it to automatic, crop it, stretch it and blur it. Okay, so setting this up as your default Android TV launcher is pretty straightforward, there's just a few steps. Head on over to the settings menu and scroll down to Project IV launcher settings. Under general you see an option to change default launcher, click on that and then scroll down and select Project IV launcher. Click on set as default, that's going to take you back to the native Android home screen. So we just need to open up the launcher again and then head on back to the settings, Project IV settings, select general and then select the override current launcher. Come back up one menu and then down to Android settings, click on device preferences and scroll down to accessibility. Select it and then go down to accessibility shortcut, select shortcut service and finally scroll down and select Project IV launcher and click OK. Go back up one menu, scroll down to Project IV launcher and select it and click on enable. Click OK to confirm and that's it now guys, Project IV TV Launcher is your default launcher. So every time you click on your home button on your remote, it'll show you the Project IV TV Launcher homepage. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a like and maybe consider subscribing to the channel.